According to a clergy, Adurag Bimio Lakpadi, who spoke with Impact News crew off camera, narrated that in one of her church's medical outreach, there was a woman that was dancing joyfully in evangelism outreach until they got back to the church and was mandated to get her blood pressure checked. Alas, it was 270 over 160, a result that states emergency in the medical line. Hypertension kills more people than any other condition. Approximately 10 million people die each year. 54% of stroke and 47% of coronary heart disease are attributable to high blood pressure. Adura Agbemi story is a pointer to the known fact that hypertension is a silent killer and many people still don't care to know the state of their blood pressure. Uh, I can't even remember the last time I did it. Because it's not a common thing. I can't remember. Uh, maybe a couple of months ago. Mm, because I have people around me that have um, you know, this uh, machine that they normally use. So, so I just use the opportunity. Uh, it's been a while I went for my checkup for high blood pressure. Um, the only time I get to go to the hospital to check it is when I'm sick. A cardiologist, Dr. Tunde Lawal, pointed to some of the dangers of an unmanaged hypertension. In most cases, there have been no symptoms. And then the blood pressure will just keep on rising and rising until the pipes are damaged. Either in the brain, or in the eyes, or in the heart, or in the kidneys, or in the legs. Usually in seven of cases. So when the blood pressure rises to dangerous levels, about 220 over 140, ah, problems. He, however, identifies some leading factors of hypertension. Hereditary, you know, both of your parents, if they have them, then you might have them. That's number one. Then number two, if you are overweight, if you are overweight or obese. So obese people, seven out of ten of them, by the age of about 40, usually they have high blood pressure. Starting with that, so about 90 to about 100, it's still about 140 over 90. So that's the second factor. Then the third factor is how we live our lives. If you drink too much, if you smoke too much, uh, if, you, if, you, if you take unprescribed drugs, okay, or if, if there are some other things which you are doing within your own lifetime, you know, you are just eating and eating and eating and, and, and you are not exercising, then your pipes are not relaxed. Then the heart is now overworked. Stress. Diet has been linked to one of the best ways to manage hypertension. A dietitian, Timmy Tokpe Fasson, noted some of the diets that should be avoided. Dietary and lifestyle changes can improve blood pressure control. There are things to avoid and there are things to go on freely. One should run away from high fatty foods. You should run away from saturated fats. When I mean high fatty foods, I mean um, fried foods generally. You should avoid the fat of meat. You should avoid milk that is creamy. You should avoid sugar as much as possible. Because all of these things can build up and increase glycogen. Fasten also advised the general public on hypertension dietary plans. You should freely consume foods that are high in calcium increase foods that are high in magnesium and increase foods that are high in potassium. You see these three nutrients, calcium, magnesium and potassium, they are mostly found in vegetables and fruits, green, dark green leafy vegetables and fruits. So if you increase your green leaves extracts and your fruits that are low in sugar, you will definitely control your blood pressure. Run away as much as possible from salt, sodium, from sodium containing foods, which means all thinned, all processed, all carton, all boxed foods should be avoided such that you will not have sodium above the normal level, which will aggravate your blood pressure uh, incidence. Hypertension is diagnosed if blood pressure is 140 over 90 or above on two different occasions. Check your blood pressure regularly. No symptoms does not mean normal blood pressure. Oluwa Shenwe Yibade, I hate TV News, Ibadan.